Tom Merritt here, still in pursuit of what to do with this YouTube channel. The Sword and Laser book hauls uh, seem to have gone over fairly well. Folks seem to enjoy those. And yesterday, if you watched, you noticed that I didn't actually get any books in the mail, so I had to get creative and pull some stuff off the shelf. People seem to like that. So that gave me the idea to pull other things off my shelf. Uh, so this one, for, uh, for now, will be called Tech Off the Shelf. Uh, and it's me pulling things out of my closet. If you've watched uh, or listened to some of the other podcasts that I do out there, like Current Geek or Cord Killers or, or even The Morning Stream, uh, occasionally uh, you'll see me magically pull something we're talking about out. Uh, secret is that I just have a lot of stuff. And if I know we might talk about it, I'll grab it ahead of time uh, and stick it near my desk. So I'm just going to pull different tech that I have from my personal archives out. Uh, and talk about it, starting with this Palm Tungsten E. Uh, now, here's the thing. I'm not going to build this as somehow researching or telling you the history or the truth of an item. I'm, I'm really just going to pull this stuff off the shelf and tell you what I remember about it and how I got it and how I used it. Uh, the Tungsten E, I got for Christmas from my mom. You can and see this leather thing is broken here. And I used to use it on the bus. Uh, I had Avant Go, and I would read newspapers. I'd have to sink, <laughs> I'd have to sink the newspapers uh, with my ThinkPad in the morning, and then I'd be able to read newspapers. I read a an ebook on it. I read an F. Scott Fitzgerald book, because it was public domain uh, that I downloaded. I would have my spreadsheets, my Excel spreadsheets, synced over here, so I could work on CNET stuff uh, back in the day. And uh, it's not charged. So sadly, I cannot uh, turn it on. But I, I used this thing around 2003, 2004. It was my second palm device. I had a handspring visor before this, like an actual handspring, before handspring became part of palm. Uh, this was the last PDA that I ever owned. Uh, and after this, I moved to, I, I, I guess I just stopped using PDAs for a while because I didn't move right to a smartphone. I actually had a, a Motorola Razor. I just used my laptop instead. But, you know, it had a, has a little speaker here on the back. Uh, the, the leather cracked from the case that, that had been sl slid in there. But that's, that's, where the, uh, that's where the leather cover works. And as you see, my, I lost the stylus, so I had to grab a stylus from my old handspring visor. It was not an original stylus, it was a replacement stylus for the visor even, uh, and stick it in there and it uh, definitely is too big for that. Power button there on the top. Uh, it is a uh, micro USB here at the bottom, so it's not terribly outdated. But look at that classic old palm interface. Anyway, that's it. First tech off the shelf, the Palm Tungsten E. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe.